Okay, now that we know how to damage an R geometry on the screen, the next thing that we need to look at is how to change the properties of your geometry once it has already been drawn, as you see right now on the screen. So, without wasting too much time, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to have a screen open, uh, right? And open a new drawing, so you can always go into File and click on New. And once you have your new drawing on the screen, the first thing that I want us to do is go down to the status bar and change the scale from 1 to say about 100 or 50. I think I'll use 50 for now. Once you've changed the scale to about 1 in 50, the next thing that I want you to do is to construct a construction line. So remember, you can always read the construction line by going to the line menu and choosing construction line, cross A, horizontal or vertical. But I'm just going to be using the keyboard shortcuts. So first thing, I'm just going to LY to create, just control Z. And now LY to create a vertical construction line. Next thing, I'm just going to LX to create another line. Then what I'll do is I'll LP to offset this line. In this case, I'll say 10,000. So let's make sure that it's 10,000. Then we offset it to the right. Then the next thing, let me offset the horizontal line 10,000 to the top of the screen. Now that we have our construction lines on the screen, the next thing that we're going to do is just LB. Remember, this is line box to create a box. So let's just LB, snap to that point, and then drag the mouse all to this point. Now, as you can see, the line that is on the screen is gray, but I prefer to have red lines when I'm dealing in program paths. So we will change that or we will get to see how we actually change those properties once we are now or we have our geometry on the screen. But next thing that we need to do after drawing this main box, let's just LP, select the box and let's offset it by 500 to the inside of the box. As you can see, we have now created a much smaller box to the inside or we've managed to offset this geometry into the inside by about 500. So just to confirm that everything is okay, let's just put this construction line at this point, then another construction line at this point, another construction line at this point, then LY again, construction line, and LY, another construction line, and in this case, another construction line at this point, and another construction line at about this point. Next thing we're going to do is DH to dimension the point, so the dimension line is going to be there, and we want to dimension to this point, and as you can see, it is definitely 10,000. Next, we're going to DH again, put our dimension line there, just control Z to undo that, then edit just to redo the first marker. We'll just control Z to undo everything, then DH again just to redo it. Some mistake happened, but it's always okay. So let's just snap to this point, snap to this point. As you can see, the first one is 10,000. Just press escape to jump out of the command. To repeat the command, just DH again. In this case, we want our dimension line to be at this point. Then you click from this point to this point, and as you can see, this is 9,000. So this just means if we DH from this point, Let's put our dimension line there to there. As you can see, that is definitely 500. So what we did was correct. But the next thing that we just want to do is change the geometry. So changing the geometry is quite easy. All you have to do is go to where it says edit, and then go to where it says entity info. And in this case, if you go to the command line, it's telling you indicate the entity that you want to display the properties for. So in this case, I'll just indicate the outer box. Now that I've indicated the outer box, what comes out is similar to what you get in AutoCAD when you ask for the properties box or properties dialog box. As you can see, it's telling me the entity is line 5 and it's showing you the layer it's in. And in this case, you can change the layer, the pen, the style, the attributes, the color, line type, etc, etc. But in this case, we're just going to be focusing on the pen and the style. In this case, I want to change the pen from 6 to 1, but I want the line style to be the same. I just want it to be a solid line, so I'll keep it at A. The next thing that we may definitely want to do is change the inner box as well to more of a dashed or hidden line. So what we do is just EI, remember the shortcut, then go to it. In this case, we're just going to keep it at pin. In this case, let's just put it at 2 for now. And in this case, we're going to change our lines from A to C. Remember, C is the hidden line. And there you go, you have it. If you want to remember which lines you have, you can always go to line type, then see which line corresponds to which line or which letter corresponds to which line. In this case, A, A is solid. B is dash, C is hidden. But by the time that you use program pads a lot, you will be able to understand this from experience. So let's just click on OK to get out. Now the next thing that we want to do is create another pair of geometry on the screen so that we just see what, what we did or what I showed you in the introductory screen just so that we do exactly as what I had. So to do that, what I'm going to do for now is let me just erase these vertical lines. We ended up not using them, but as you can see, the geometry that we created is accurate and it has been well dimensioned. So we used all the steps that we used in the previous videos to come up with the geometry on the screen. Now, what we're going to do is let's just create a const whole vertical construction line, as I've shown you. Then let's LP this by 5000. And then we're going to continue by 5000 so that we have two lines to the right of this original line. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go down. Then we're going to E 
E to remove this one. Let's just erase that line. So remember, if you want to erase any entity, you can always say erase E, right? Then you go to entity, entity, erase entity, or you can just short keyboard shortcut E, E. Now that we have done that, the next thing that we're going to do is just LP this bottom line by 5000 and just make sure that it goes to the top of the screen. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the line auto command. So we remember this is the line auto command. So what you're going to do is just click on it. Then we're going to draw a line from there to there. Then another line from there to there. Then a line from there to there. Then a line from there to this point. Then from this point to this point. And from this point to this point. And from this point to this point. Now the next thing that we need to do is just change the properties of each line individually. So to do that, remember it's just the same as on your keyboard EI. Click the entity that you want. In this case, we're just going to change it from line pin 1 to pin 6 to pin A. Pin 1, I made, but the style is going to be A. Then the next thing, EI, grab the second line. This pin is going to be number 2. And the style is going to be B. Make sure that's OK. Then the next thing is, change this from 6 to 3. Then the style is going to be C. Then the next thing, EI again, change this from pin 6 to pin 4. Then the style is going to be D. Then last, just change this one to from pen 6 to pen 5 and make sure that the style is E. I could keep repeating everything, but now I think you get the gist of it. So we can remove all these construction lines. You can always say edit, erase, and remove all construction lines or just E6. But in this case, we can always hide them as well. So just remember, you can always hide them by toggling. Go to the status bar where you have the edge. So clicking it or clicking it off will either turn the construction lines on or off. In this case, as you can see, the construction lines are now off and you can clearly visualize. As you can see, this is a red line, which is solid, a yellow line, which is dashed. Then you have a green line, which is has or has the line type, which is hidden. Then you have the cyan line, which has the dash dash. And then you have the blue line, which is the dash dot. And yes, you have pen six with the solid line. So as you can see, this is how you can easily change the geometry of your screen. Or you can change the properties of your geometry once it's on the screen. Sorry if this video I was rambling or stammering a bit. But hopefully you managed to understand a few things that are important when it comes to changing the line work or the properties of your geometry on the screen. So thank you very much. I'm going to wrap up the video now. And I'll see you in the next video where we continue with the program pads for newbie series.